here are the 18 basic and important questions about technology transfer in pharmaceutical industry subscribe to channel for more informative content we will start with very basic question what is technology transfer in simple words technology transfer is the process of transferring product process packaging and analytical knowledge from one side to another side product technology transfer is transfer of product and process from transferring side to obtaining FDA or regulatory approval. Next question What are the three stages of technology transfer? Answer is Three stages of technology transfer are planning phase, execution phase, and post execution phase. Next question What is TTD? TTD is Technology Transfer Dossier Document. This technology transfer dossier document is provided by RD, that is, Research and Development Department, to Product Development Laboratory which contains all information of drug product including MFC and MPC. Next question is what is MFC? MFC is Master Formula Card. Master Formula Card includes product name along with its strength, generic name, MFC number, page number, effective date, shelf life and market. Next question is what is MPC? MPC is Master Packing Card which gives information about packaging type, material used for packaging, stability profile and shelf life of packaging. Next question, what is flow of technology transfer in pharmaceutical industry? Technology development is done at technology developer side which is then transferred to receiving side. At the receiving side, initially feasibility batch is taken, then scale up batch for the exhibit and stability batches are taken after successful results of exhibit and stability batches process validation batches are taken and finally we go with production batches next question what should be pilot scale up batch size answer is pilot scale up batch size should correspond to at least 10 percent of production scale batch that is such that the multiplication factor for scale up batch shall not be more than 10. For oral solid dosage forms, this size should generally be 10% of production scale or 1 lakh units, whichever is greater. Next question, what is term SU and RU as per WHO? SU is sender unit. It is the site that develops the formulation, pilot manufacturing process, packaging configurations and analytical methodology. Whereas, RU is a receiving unit. It is the site as a recipient of product process, packaging and analytical knowledge and intended for commercial manufacturing once the product is approved. Next important question, which guidelines are referred for technology transfer of a product? There are multiple documents or guidelines are available which guide for technology transfer of a product, out of which four are mentioned here. First one is PDS Technical Report number 65 for Technology Transfer. Second one is SUPAC Guideline. Third, WHO Guideline that is Annex 7 TRS number 961. And fourth one is ICH Q10 which provides harmonized model for pharmaceutical quality system throughout the life cycle of a product. Next important and very frequently asked question is why three batches are considered during validation? Answer is consecutive three batches data gives enough statistical information to conclude on repeatability of results. One or two batches data may found insufficient and obtaining data from more batches probably will give repetitive results. Additionally, EMA that is European Medicines Agency Annex 15 guidance insists to take three consecutive batches manufactured under routine conditions for process validation. Next question, what is exhibit batch? After taking scale up batch of the product, manufacturing of exhibit batches takes place. In case of exhibit, batch sizes are increased along with equipment and their process is involved. Exhibit batches are taken for filing purpose in different regulatory agencies. Next important question what is take pack document? Answer is take pack document containing the detailed information of the product as below but not limited to formulation composition, process flow chart, manufacturing process, RM, PPM, 
बॉम्ब क्रिटिकल प्रोसेस पैरामीटर्स सर्टिफिकेट सच एज टी एस सी बी एस सी फ्री सर्टिफिकेशन नॉन मेलेनाइन सर्टिफिकेशन नॉन जी एम ओ रेसिडल सॉलवेंट कंटेंट एक्सेट्रा एम एस डी एस एंड एनालिटिकल रिक्वायरमेंट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज सुपैक गाइडलाइंस सुपैक इज द स्केल अप एंड पोस्ट अप्रूवल चेंजेस लाइक इन द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ ड्रग बैच साइज प्रोसेस इक्विपमेंट और साइट सुपैक गाइडलाइंस आर इशूड बाई यू एस एम डी ए एंड अप्लाई टू चेंजेस मेड टू सर्टन ड्रग्स आफ्टर दे हैव बीन अप्रूव बाय रेगुलेटरी दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज दे हेल्प टू एंश्योर दैट ड्रग मेंटेन अ क्वालिटी कॉन्स्टेंटली नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज डी एम एफ डी एम एफ इज ड्रग मास्टर फाइल इज अ सबमिशन टू द एफ डी ए दैट इज फूड एंड ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट मे बी यूज टू प्रोवाइड कॉन्फिडेंशियल डिटेल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट फैसिलिटीज प्रोसेसेस और आर्टिकल्स यूज इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसिंग और पैकेजिंग ऑफ ड्रग्स नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज रोल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफर डिपार्टमेंट इन टेक ट्रांसफर प्रोसीजर हियर फाइव की रोल्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफर डिपार्टमेंट आर मैंशन फर्स्ट टू इवेल्युएट न्यू प्रोडक्ट प्रपोजल फॉर्म सेकेंड टू इवेल्युएट प्री टेक डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड प्रिपेयर द गैप एनालिसिस थर्ड टू सुपरवाइज स्केल अप एग्जिबिट evaluation or validation batches fourth to coordinate between cross functional departments fifth to prepare the proposed commercial batch documents that is mfr bmr and bpr for submission purpose next question what is role of production department in tech transfer here three key roles of production department in tech transfer procedure are mentioned first to initiate procurement of any new equipment or instrument if required second review of master and executed bmr and bpr third manufacturing of trial optimization exhibit and validation batches next question is what is role of r&d that is research and development department in technology transfer procedure here four key roles of r&d in technology transfer procedure are mentioned first to initiate the new product proposal form second planning and execution of r&d trials exhibit or submission batches third to monitor scale up exhibit evaluation or validation batches and fourth to prepare product development report last and very important question what is done in post execution phase answer is during the post transfer phase bioequivalence or clinical trials etc stability schedule execution final product specification derivation the proposed commercial manufacturing processes etc are established taking into account the supac guidelines and or other regulatory guidelines the proposed commercial batch sizes will not exceed 10 fold increase over the transfer batch size